Good morning, it's Monday, October 25th. I'm Alex Dyke, and here are the stories we have for you today. We have a new Spanish teacher here at Jeff High. And a Flapjack fundraiser coming up. Good morning, I'm Brian Till at the JHS Report. is up next. JHS Boys Soccer Team invites you to participate in the Applebee's Flapjack Fundraiser, breakfast to support the boys' soccer team. This event is being held November 6th from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. at the Applebee's in Clarksville in front of the Green Tree Mall. Tickets can be purchased through a soccer player or see Mrs. Strait. Open mic tryouts will be held November 9th in the cafeteria right after school. If you can sing, dance, or have any other talent, come to the tryouts. We have a new Spanish teacher, Jeff I, JHS reporter, Yavisha Kingman has the story. Jeff High has many new teachers, one including Ms. Costner, a new Spanish teacher. I, uh, I have studied Spanish in high school, uh, Spanish 1 through Spanish 4 AP, and then I have uh, attended Western Kentucky University where I majored in Spanish. I studied abroad in Mexico uh, for six weeks, undergrad, and then I obtained my master's in Spanish from the University of Salamanca in Spain. And um, so I've studied abroad in a couple of times, Mexico and Spain. So. Tell us about your experiences at Jeff High. What's been your best moment and what's been your worst? Well, let's see. I'm new to Jeff High, so I don't have very many experiences. The best moment is when my students get really excited and involved in the classroom. And I don't think I've had a worst moment so far. Everything's been pretty good. I really like her. She's fitting in Jeff High well, and her, I enjoy her class because it's fun and creative, and we do different things. What I think of Miss Costner is she's an excellent teacher. She has an amazing personality. She's great with students, and I think she'll be a great addition to the Jeff High staff. I think Miss Costner is an amazing teacher. She keeps our class very interesting, and we do a lot of on-hands activities. What skills are your students expected to learn in this class? My students are expected to learn basic uh, vocabulary and phrases to, for basic conversations. They are expected to be able to talk about themselves and to ask questions to other people about themselves. Um, and they are going to learn some cultural differences and, and things that they can use everyday, uh, everyday life. For the JHS Report, I'm Evisha Klingman. Any girl wanting to play in the Powder Puff football game needs to pick up a packet in Miss Rector's room, B113, before school or after school. Packets are due tomorrow, Tuesday, October 26th. Also, there will be an FCA meeting today after school in room B115. Right. Tutoring continuing, continues at Jeff High English. Oh, English and math will be Monday through Thursday at 2.30. Algebra 1 ECA tutoring will be held after school Monday through Thursday at 2.30 p.m. JHS Support is happy to air your announcement. Simply fill out the form located in the front office or have a staff member email Mr. Gross and we will do our best to get your, make sure that your announcement gets on the air. We'll have the JHS weather forecast plus your latest Jeff High Sports after the break. Hungry? Why not try Moby Dick Seafood? 700 East 10th Street in Jeffersonville. Voted best seafood in Clark County. Feed two or more with a box of two or more for only $14.69. Seven days a week, dine in, carry out or drive through. A clean, comfortable restaurant for the entire family. Open till 9 p.m. Monday through Thursday, 10 p.m. Friday and Saturday, and 8 p.m. on Sunday. Stop in and have a whale of a sandwich. Good morning, I'm Summer Matthews with a look at today's JHS weather forecast. Today, scattered thunderstorms this morning, then partly cloudy during the afternoon hours, high 79. Tonight, partly cloudy early, followed by cloudy skies overnight, low 66. Tomorrow, windy with scattered thunderstorms in the morning, then strong thunderstorms becoming likely during the afternoon. Damaging winds with some storms, high around 75. Chance of rain, 70%. That's a look at your JHS weather forecast. Now here's a look at your JHS sports with Jakari Fitzpatrick. 
Good morning, I'm Jakari Fitzpatrick with the latest Jeff High Sports. Jeff High tennis players Patrick Elliott and Shane Burke were selected to the Indiana Southeast All-Star team. The two boys will play this coming Saturday at DuPont University. Matches will start at 10 o'clock a.m. Jeffersonville's boys soccer team came to an end Saturday at the hands of Washington, 5 to nothing in the semifinals of the Evansville Semi-State. Jeff finished the season with an 18-3 mark and earned its third regional title in school history. Jeffersonville freshman Leonard Quitanda finished the IHSAA Brown County Semi-State Cross Country Meet in 68th place. In the girls meet, Jeffersonville senior Connie Chan had the best area finish. Chan was 21st overall. The New Albany Bulldogs defeated Jeffersonville in the first round of Class 5A sectional football tournament 32-13 Friday night. That's the latest Jeff High Sports. Stay tuned for a final word from the newsroom is next. It's a T-Rex, T, however you spell Rex. It's a T-Rex, seriously, how do you spell Rex? I call him sexy, sexy, sexy Rexy. Oh my, Jinxie's riding. Sexy, sexy Rexy. Happy birthday to you. This is your day. On this day for you. We're gonna love you in every way. This is your day. Make a good wish. Make a good wish. Make a good wish. Wish for dinosaurs to come back. Alright, come on, blow up the candle. Blow it out. Do it. Come on. Do it. Just because it's your. What up, man? Forget you, man. Finally today, it's a great way to wish a classmate or your special friend a happy birthday. It's easy to do with the JHS report. Birthday greeting brings six pictures and five dollars to room 713 at least a day in advance, and we will get your birthday greeting on the air. That's the latest Jeff High News. We hope you have a great day. I'm Brian Tillett. And I'm Alex Tyke. Join us tomorrow for the latest news and information, and thank you for watching the JHS Report.